Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the co-main event here at USC 297. Ladies and gentlemen, main event will come up right after this video, ladies and gentlemen. It's for the Banquet Bantamweight Championship, ladies and gentlemen. Released by the GOAT. And of last year, ladies and gentlemen, she retired. Nunez has retired, ladies and gentlemen. Who will be, which one of these two women will come in and take the Bantamweight title and be the woman of that division, ladies and gentlemen, that head to the arena for this matchup, ladies and gentlemen. You're the champion, you cannot rest on your laurels, and she certainly has not done that. She has gotten better with every passing defense of this UFC Bantamweight Championship, and she's got another significant challenger in her weight tonight. She gets better every time she steps into the octagon. She understands the importance of defending this belt and defending it the right way. That's why she's, she is such a long-reigning champion. She isn't a flash to pan. She does not want to be here for the right now. She wants to be remembered. And in a division that had so many great champions in the past, she has to build a resume that can't be matched if she wants it to happen. She's done a lot of visualization, a lot of meditation, strategization, and she believes without a shadow of a doubt that she will leave once again as the champion. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Referee for this Ready. one. Good. Heaven won five in a row in seven of her last nine. Here is the UFC Women's Bantamweight contender, Raquel Pennington, has a lot of skills that she brings to the table. Most of her finishes have come by way of submission, but don't sleep on the power. Raquel Pennington, one tough customer, and a great example of what hard work can do for a fighter. Pennington in yet another huge spot tonight. As she misses with the left punch there. All right, well, the kickboxer didn't like that hook very much. She's going to try to create some distance, but the boxer doing a good job getting inside and being heard from with those hands early. Well, she has to create distance, but that also allows for that lunging hook. Think back to Rose Namajunas and Ioana Janjacek, that jumping hook 
can also be effective. So she's got to be careful when you're fighting someone that possesses that punch, but possesses it in multiple different ways. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. She got that single collar tie. Never seen anything like this, J.A. How in the world are these two women still standing? Well, she's establishing the jab. Beautiful jab there by the champ. And there's a takedown attempt by her there, DC, but she's unable to get it. She's unable to get it. Her opponent is ready and expecting the attempt. She has to mix it up. She has to trick her. Go to a different shot if she's going to secure this takedown. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, roundhouse kick. Just when you thought you had seen it all. She throws everything into that strike. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. And that one certainly found the target. Straight punch is good. All right, so that body continues to get ripped up. The judges are looking for damage and damaging moments. And her body investment has been the narrative in this fight. Early, you may not have been able to see how much of an effect this was taking on her. But now you see it. The game. Oh, she's going for a submission. Now. She's so good here, John. Oh, that sub is tight. Also, how about that? Looked pretty tight, but she gives up on the submission. She's got her back now. Full side control now. Two minutes on the round one clock. Oh, right in the mouth. Get your hips back, move your hips. Oh. Pennington getting worked here from the top. Ground and pound strikes raining down. In full guard now, DC, and I know when you're in this position, you're looking to pass the half guard pretty quick. Oh, absolutely, trying to get the half guard so I can start to get up ground and pound. This is exactly what she needs to do. Not only does it... Pennington's going for the sub here. Got that submission locked up very tight. Oh, how good is that as she gets out? She is so aware on the ground, and she escapes a deep submission attempt. Right into side mount. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Pennington. And there she goes again, landed another strike on the ground. Oh, Pennington's in half guard. Oh, Kimura attack, yup. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. And now she's in low. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Nice slip by her there. She's avoided a lot of these ground and pound offerings. DC, I know you got my back. She's got her back, and she can do a lot of damage from here. I've got your back as not your boy, J.A. She's got her back as if she wants to end her night right now. She's got to be very careful. And there you go. Again, half guard. Let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is, you can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round on the 
All right, DC, here we go with our next round. She had a lot to smile about in the previous round. Her striking absolutely on point. Got to think she'll be able to carry that through into this round. Why would it not be the same? She was so effective. She was flowing so well. She was in her rhythm. Why would she change if she wants to get off the stool and go back to doing exactly what she was doing before? Strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class. But she lands, and she lands very effectively. Nice transition. Attempting a choke now. Oh, I'm no expert, but that Von Flute choke looks locked in. Oh, how about that? She gives up on the submission now. In the half guard. So just as we saw in the previous round, she is realizing a lot of success with her kickboxing game tonight, and you can see the confidence growing with every strike landing. It's overwhelming for her opponent to be in there with her when she's in this flow state. She's so good at everything she's doing that now the activity is starting to pick up. If she can continue to fight in this way, I wouldn't be surprised if this fight gets finished. a beautiful escape and reversal by her there. Unbelievable sweep. She did a fantastic job of manipulating the weight to change the position. Very nice leg kick there by Raquel Penny. She's had a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landing. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Uh, when you get in a bad spot on the ground and you want to reverse it, that's what you need to do. Master class in changing position. Unreal to see. Pennington's in half goal. Nicely done. Oh, nice headlock. Oh, that is tight. Could be the beginning of the end. Oh, heel hook attempt now, and it looks locked in. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. Two minutes now to go in round two. All right, so the ground and pound strikes continue to land. She's not staying busy for the sake of it. She is doling out damage. She's landing a lot of punishing ground and pound. And this is going to really zap her opponent as they get back to the feet. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Beautiful transition. Pennington's back in full goal. Oh, you heard the crowd pop after that grueling ground battle. The athletes make their way back to the feet. The athletes are up, and they need to take in the admiration. The crowd is a... Oh! Oh, she hurt her back! together some significant body shots here attacking both sides now oh big punch land just misses there with the left she's got the single collar tie well the damage starting to add up bleeding from her cheek now oh brutal knee to the body and now some knees Whiffs on the right hand. Big double leg on the change. She's got it over the ball here. Oh, she's got a triangle, DC. That looks tight. Might be a case of, of tap or nap right here. It is going to be a case of tap or nap. Good boy. Good job. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good And now she has her back. Looks like she's going to attempt the rear naked choke. Looks like a pretty good attempt here. 
Oh, she's out. All right, round three coming up next. Oh. All right, so there's the horn indicating the end of the round, but not before damage was done. She was cut on her cheek from the strike in that round, and now the focus for the cut man shutting that thing and making sure it doesn't become a factor here moving forward. All right, so she does survive to see the next round, but as we show you some replays, DC, nobody's gonna be kissing her on the cheek anytime soon. <laughs> no, it's a nasty cut on the cheek. She got hit with some big shots, and they really have taken an effect on her. Look at the cut on the cheek, and it was that shot right there that opened up the cut. Ready to fight? Ready. Do it. Round three of a possible five. Good stick. She slips that left hand there. Tries to work it into a takedown. Seems like she wanted out of the clinch there. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really gonna take their toll as this fight moves on. Nice jab. Oh, she lands a roundhouse kick there, DC. She said she wanted to make a statement. Roundhouse kick will do just that. A roundhouse kick landing will absolutely make a statement. And if it lands in the right spot, it can end your opponent's night. Pennington goes for the takedown, unable to land. One of the better takedown artists out there. Nothing doing on that attempt. Big shot lands for both guys. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown? What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Best part in the game, beautiful jab. Oh, nicely done by her there. She's got the single collar in the clinch. Look at the control of the posture as he landed that knee. Pennington's nose is cut now, and she's starting to deal with some blood in that area. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh, big knee to the body, man alive! Well, how urgent is this fighter down the stretch? She is really lighting her up now. She found her range in the middle of this fight, and she is making up for lost time. Hands higher, hands higher. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Oh, nice single, yes. Darce choke is here. That Darce choke is tight. Oh, great submission defense. So her submission attempt is denied yet again. She's gonna keep going for it, but the defense has held up every step of the way thus far. She has to. She has to keep going for it. Because if she wants a chance, she's gotta keep trying to throw up submissions. Unfortunately, she is trying to submit one of the best grapplers in the division. Still in hot pursuit of the submission here. Great decision there. Maintain position over submission. Very, very smart. Pennington's right back to the full mount. Under 90 seconds to go. Oh, Pennington's in half guard. All right, full guard now, DC. She's on the bottom. What is she trying to do? Well, she's got to throw up submissions to try to put her opponent on awareness. And these submissions will be used to reverse the position. Even if it gets defended, it will create space for her to try to get back to her feet or maybe to steal a sweep and trick her opponent. Oh, right into Mount. All right, less than a minute here to go now in round three. I want to see 
Nice positional control here. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Pennington's right back to the full mount here. Oh, and how about that? They make their way back to the feet. Crowd going crazy. What a moment for these two athletes. The crowd is losing their mind. While they like the grappling, they love a good stand-up fight. Nasty cut on her nose. She's bleeding. Final seconds of round three. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, that's the end of the round, and the fighter has a cut on her nose. So that is something that certainly bears watching moving forward. Cut man racing in there. He'll try to seal that cut. She doesn't seem too bothered by it, but certainly something we'll keep an eye on here moving forward. Well, they haven't called for the doctor yet, but she is swollen. Doesn't look at all like the woman who walked out here a couple hours ago. Yeah, she got beat up in that round. She took far too many shots right on the target. She has got to do something different on the defensive side, or this fight is not gonna go long. Fourth round now, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. I'm excited, man. Fourth round is underway as we hit these championship rounds. Both of these women with a lot still left in the tank, or so it seems. They did a great job of preparing themselves for the long fight. Let's see who can sustain the energy over the next 10 minutes. Can you believe she is able to keep up this output just as she did in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes here and not slowing down whatsoever? She looks like she could go 10 hard fives if need be tonight. Nice body kick there. I mean, she's fighting a fantastic fight. Well, she's leaking a lot of blood now. That cut is getting worse with every strike landing. And the blood is flying. Her confidence is growing. She will continue to try and target that cut until someone has to come in here, ringside position, and stop the fight. Well, it is not the worst cut we've ever seen in the UFC, but a lot of blood donation happening right here, right now, as her opponent continues to target that. Yeah, you, are, you have a, a fighter in front of you who is so disciplined, who is so sharp. You have got to get on your bicycle, you got to get on the outside, limit the damage, get between rounds, and then try to reset. Because right now, this cut is only getting worse. Well, this is one of the more active rounds we have seen all night long. Both of these women have realized success with the striking, and both seem damn. Oh, Pennington's trying to lock up on a submission now. She's got it tight. Strikes by her here in top position. Serious swell. Oh, look at her now, setting up for the submission. What a submission attempt. Oh, that Von flu choke is tight. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. Print the shirts, ground and pound. in half guard now. Working out of the half guard here. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Outstanding grappling battle, and now back to the feet. Huge response from the crowd. We'll see who has the advantage here. Big response from the crowd. They appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and it's exactly what they just got between these two young women. Oh, she is as relentless as any striker on this roster, man or woman, eternally aggressive with... Guillotine, guillotine here. Oh, she's got a great guillotine, and she's got it tight. There's the tie! here tonight. She scrambled well in this fight, and she had to exercise some patience there a little bit, but once she found an opening, the tap came shortly thereafter.
the official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, one second of round number four. Declaring the winner by tap out, and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Myra Chikara. All right, so she is the new UFC Bantamweight champion, joining an illustrious list of former champions in this division, Misha Tate, Ronda Rousey, and she's on that list now. Right next. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got our new on Women Bantamweight Championship, ladies and gentlemen, right here. Will she retain her title at her next defense, ladies and gentlemen, or will she win it at this UFC 297? You're going to find out. On a pay per view this Saturday, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed this, ladies and gentlemen. We have the main event coming up right after this, ladies and gentlemen. See you then. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.